All right, and up next, our final and ninth presenter, James. Hi, everybody. My name is James Wolf. I hope everyone is doing well tonight. Um, my idea is Shark Smart, and it is a business to consumer subscription service where we pick up used needles from people in residential areas. Uh, the, our target market is diabetics and anyone who disposes of needles in a residential setting. Um, it is a huge market. There are over 13.5 million people in the U.S. alone disposing of needles outside of the healthcare system that have um, not the best alternatives to uh, get rid of these needles. I know because I'm a type 1 diabetic. Um, I came up with this idea um, one day. Actually, last year, I came up with this idea um, because I just saw like some of my needles and I was tired of what the CDC told me to do. Like they tell you to either bring it to a CVS or Walgreens or a fire department. And this is out of the way. Um, I didn't have a car at the time. So like, it was just really difficult for me to get that. And I just wished that there was some way that I could uh, dispose my needles properly and environmentally friendly. So basically it's a subscription service, um, business to consumer, and we ship a box to the customer either once a week, um, uh, every two weeks, every three weeks, or every month. And so um, we ship this to them. They put it, we ship them a box that they can dispose the needles of inside of the shipping container that's uh, able to be sent back to where we dispose the needles. Um, we send them into like a, a disposable needle box, right? Where they can put all their things in. And then when they're done, they simply just put it back into the shipping box and they ship it back to us. And this is all able to go through um, like the uh, US mail system, as long as you put a uh, biohazard tape over it and a biohazard sticker on it. Um, so there's not any competition in this market either. I mean, it is insane. Everybody's only focused on uh, commercial aspects like dental offices and hospitals. There are no residential services uh, in the market to pick up needles. Um, and uh, yeah, open to any questions you might all have. So I understand the piece about the uh, US Postal Service and the labeling, but are there any regulations about the box itself or inside the box, the way the needles are stored or whatever? The needles just need to be closed. They need to be the, the uh, disposable box, or not the disposable box, but the hazardous material box that we ship. Um, it's completely regulated so that once you close it, it's fine as long as it's in the box and the um, Postal Service people know that it can, it, it, has uh, hazardous materials in it, mm -hmm. it can be shipped. Okay. How much is the subscription? So I haven't really Sorry, Linus. came to a pricing point on it yet. I still need to get into the finances of it, um, but currently it's just uh, just the business model. And James, are you, how are you going to be marketing this to people? Is it through online ads or what are you thinking there? So I'm thinking we would do um, social campaigns, word of mouth advertising through um, going to the hospitals themselves and maybe like a referral program. Like we can give maybe 10% um, for however many, like a quota that the hospital reaches, how they've like gotten us uh people onto the subscription service um and i was i was also thinking maybe just like social and stuff and i was like thinking that um the people that we could target it's just like it's an environmentally friendly way to uh dispose of these needles and it's just easier it's like for yeah yeah could you speak to on the receiving end, you may have touched on this a little bit, but if you could maybe expound a little bit more. When you are now in receipt of these used needles, the process or maybe the partnership with which you've maybe established or plan to establish to make sure that they're disposed of correctly, are you taking some different route than maybe just in yourself turning over to the fire department or another um, type agency? That's a great question, Linus. That is a great question. So what we would do is we would incinerate them and uh, we would incinerate the used needle part. You snip off the, the hazardous material and then you um, like recycle the plastic. Okay. 
so this is your facility that you'll fund or is in partnership with an established one? To lower cost, it would be a facility that we would fund. It would be an initial purchase and then over time it would pay itself off. Is that all? So Thank since there's not a question, I'll just give you one thought, which is think about the round trip rather than shipping an empty box to the diabetic. What does di what do diabetics order online that you could ship to them so you get the round trip? They would pay more if they get something and then they give something and your economics might be dramatically better. So just an idea to think about. Gordon, you don't get to get judged for that because it's my idea, but I just wanted to pass that along. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. Maybe go into like a, a, a partnership with somebody that ships them like yeah. XCOM. Thanks. Darren yeah. was talking about how Good like, luck. yeah. Thank All you. Right. Very much. Well, thank you so much, James. And we are super excited to see the impact that you're going to make on communities with your service.